Hi, my name is Madeline Plord. Uh, I'm a general surgery resident uh, from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, my study uh, was to look at the yield of the first surveillance colonoscopy following curative resection for colorectal cancer. The purpose of our study was to uh, see that um, prolonging the time from the first surveillance colonoscopy uh, from one year to three years. And to show this, uh, we first looked uh, at the timing of the first surveillance colonoscopy. Uh, so we looked at 414 patients uh, and uh, 46% of them uh, underwent colonoscopy within one year of their surgery. Uh, we found that 47% uh, uh, underwent surveillance between one and three years. Uh, we then looked at the rate of advanced neoplasia uh, at the first surveillance colonoscopy and divided that uh, between the three times. Uh, so for patients who had their surveillance within one year, uh, their rate of advanced uh, neoplasia was higher than patients who had their surveillance between one to three years. So this led us to believe that these were most likely missynchronous cancers and not truly metachronous cancers because the adenoma carcinoma sequence that leads to colorectal cancer takes about five to ten years to develop. So we then looked at the rate of advanced neoplasia uh, with regards to timing of assessment and compared that to the preoperative uh, colon assessment. So we saw that patients who underwent a complete preoperative colonoscopy had fewer advanced neoplasias at surveillance than patients who underwent either a barium enema or a, a, an incomplete colonoscopy with barium enema. So this was then confirmed uh, by uh, looking at the number of polypectomies which were done preoperatively uh, pre on the first uh, colonoscopy and we found that patients who had a complete colonoscopy had a much higher rate of uh, polypectomies uh, than the patients who had incomplete colonoscopy and barium enema. So this supports our argument that these are most likely missed synchronous lesions and not metachronous lesions. So our conclusion was that if you've undergone a complete uh, preoperative colonoscopy that your first surveillance colonoscopy uh, can wait uh, up until three years following surgery. And the reason that we think this is important is that uh, this allows uh, more resources uh, for, screening, um, uh, for screening colonoscopies. Now, we do uh, realize that some patients cannot have uh, adequate uh, preoperative colon assessment, and we still enforce that these patients should have early postoperative colonoscopy, ideally within six months of surgery.